pour yourself a drink and join the Film Junkie After Video Show. What's happening, guys? David the Film Junkie here, and welcome to the Film Junkie After Video Show. That is correct. If you're new to my channel or you're a current subscriber to my channel and you don't know what the hell's going on, there's going to be a link down below that says, you know, other channel. That's where all my main content is going now because certain events have happened on this channel. And I'm going to keep reminding you guys because I want to get as many people over there as possible uh, where this channel has been pretty much effed in the A. Yeah, that's right. F and A, man. F and A. Um, so I'm trying to get everybody over there. And uh, that's where all my main content is going to be. News, leaks, whatever you want right there. That has to do with a lot of the big movies that are coming out, especially superhero movies. And um, um, let's see. Is everything good right there? Uh -huh. Okay. I've been ha This is like my third time trying to shoot this video. I swear to God. Yeah. Because uh, I've been having some uh, computer issues. Yeah, it's always fun. It's been that kind of day, guys. It's been just like one of those overwhelming, just hair-pulling days. And I'm not going to go into details, but sometimes you just feel like you just can't win. I mean, it pretty much started last night. And I'm like, good Lord. Anyways, that's not what I'm really here to talk about. I mean, I, I kind of am here to talk about that. By the way, you like my little blanket? Look at It's Batman. Yeah? My Arkham Games. That's right. Um, girlfriend got me that uh, for Christmas. And uh, I had these hooks. Just right here, and I was like, you know what? I need to liven up the place because I had nothing on my walls. I mean, I I, I lost all my posters and pictures. <laughs> yeah, in in between moves, I lost a lot of shit, which really sucks. So I didn't have anything to hang up except for a couple little things. Like, and I did a vlog last night because I was way too tired to do a, a an after show, which I apologize for. And uh, I showed that, and people, somebody said, like, why is it sideways? Well, it's because there's two. There's a hook right there and a hook right there, and it just worked. So it's sideways. And I also got my Spider-Man poster, which, I, which is a rare find, which I'll make a video about. And then I put my Film Junkie art right up there. So, anyways, I'm rambling. Um, basically, uh, if you're like I said, if you're new to this, um, to the Film Junkie after video show, I just talk about the videos I uploaded on the other channel. And like I said, subscribe, go watch them, come back, and we'll discuss them. That's pretty much what I do here. It's raw. It's just me. No edits, no nothing. Just me with a drink and a Joker shirt today. And uh, Batman slippers. Anyways. Um, yeah, I uploaded three videos today, tonight, I should say. Um, the first one, of course, was uh, the official Avengers Age of Ultron poster has been released to the public from Marvel, and it is just a conglomerate of holy shit. Yeah, a lot of people are griping about how much crap is in that poster, but I don't care. Put as much crap as you want in that poster, man. I want that on my wall too, man. Ugh. But a lot of people are griping. It was just like so many just... And then, of course, all looks photo... Who cares? Who cares? It still looks good. So I did, did a video about that, and somebody actually put it in Spider-Man, which is awesome. So that's there too, as well as the uh, Tony Stark in front, you know, got to give Robert Downey Jr. his face time. Um, so go ahead and check that out. But the big one that of course has the most comments, which I'll read through your comments is, uh, is a Batman vs Superman video. I did, uh, I titled it Batman vs Superman trailer audio leaked. And then Aquaman added to the promo art. Remember that promo art that came out with just the Trinity and it came out in HD, you know, and has all three of them. Well, somebody inserted Aquaman with color. Same, I mean, it, it just looks so beautiful. I made it the background on my fucking phone. It was so beautiful. So, c congratulations to whoever made that promo art. And I even said that, too. I was like, whoever made that art, just go ahead and just announce that you did. And a lot of you guys made jokes underneath uh, in the comments that, oh, it was me. Yeah, you guys are silly. Silly Billy's you. But, of course, um, yeah, there was a little trailer audio that leaked out. It's it's really ridiculous. And like I said, go listen to it. It's not real. It's not real at all. <laughs> I mean, it's going off that description of the supposed leaked trailer that's that leaked out like last month or whatever, where it has Ben Affleck like narrating it and saying that Kryptonians and which side is he gonna be on i'll find out and you actually hear like batmobile sounds and stuff it's like come on but the, they use like some kind of voice uh changer and he sounds like jigsaw from the fucking saw movies it's like just oh no it just didn't work it really didn't work at all so i'm gonna read some comments like right here we say uh i wizard hacks says it was me i'm god well i'll pray to you then 
if you made that promo right, but of course he's he's lying. Um, the Samurai Apocalypse says, I made that photo. Samurai Apocalypse, wasn't that a character on Californication, if I'm not mistaken? I love that show. Anyways, um, I made that photo, no joke. It was me. I just wanted to clarify so you don't think I'm kidding. And then he, of course, puts, I'm lying. It wasn't me. <laughs> and then Antisocial Taco says, that was a very pointless comment. <laughs> he, Oh, you guys. And then RetroBat said, clickbait. Yeah, it was. I'll admit it. You know what? When it comes to doing these videos, when it comes to trying to make your voice on YouTube, you have to come up with, like, the winning titles, okay? Now, I could have just put an exclamation point and said, hey, it's the Batman vs. Superman audio leaked. Bye. Let's do it. Bye, 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 bye. You know? I could have did that, but I put a question mark and an exclamation point. Point pork. Am I in the mood for pork? Apparently. Um so yeah, I'm trying to drive people over because let's face it, I'm <laughs> I have to I'm trying to rebuild a channel here. And uh so of course I need that. But it, yes, it is actual audio, it's bullshit, but I say that in the video. It wasn't like I was going, Hey, this is real, ha 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 it's not real. I know it's not. So yeah, it might be a little bit of clickbait, but hey, I need <laughs> I need to get more uh, traffic to the new channel. That's all I got to say. And then uh, Brody Bruce. Really? That's awesome. Mall Rats, Jason Lee. Love it. Love the name. He's even got that little, he's even got the icon of Brody from Mall Rats. That's so awesome. I love that movie. That's probably my favorite Kevin Smith movie. I'm not going to lie. It's so underrated. It said, this just made, this just, just oh, I can't even talk. This just made me think about all the people that say Grant Gustin and Stephen Amell aren't good enough to be in the movies. So Gal Gadot and Jason Momoa are? I mean, sure they are. But what makes them so much better than the others? A few small movie roles and a failed reboot, which of course he means Conan, uh, seems to me 24 episodes, episode seasons of a successful TV show would be a good experience too. Just saying. Okay, I totally get what you're saying, Mr. Brody Bruce. But the thing is, if you look at just the tone and their costumes, not very movie like. Okay, look at look at the costumes that we've seen. Look at the four costumes we've seen. You put you put Green Arrow and you put that Flash in there, they're gonna look ridiculous. Okay? I think once we actually see the Flash costume, it's gonna blow our balls. It's gonna look more like the comic book. Because let's face facts, that 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 the Flash Suit does not look very comic book like. It doesn't look like it's that much of a comic book. I'm not dogging it. And I, I I still haven't gotten fully into the Flash. I watched the pilot episode and I was I was I'm on board. I'm just gonna binge watch it <laughs> once I can. When it's on like Netflix or whatever, I'm gonna binge watch it. But it's just it doesn't fit. It just does not fit. I mean look at that bat suit. Look at that bat suit. Look at the Superman costume. Look at the Wonder Woman costume and now Aquaman. That just that's so high quality, so just that the TV versions of these superheroes, it's just, it wouldn't fit. That's the only thing. I'm not saying the actors couldn't handle it. Not saying that at all. It's just, it's all about the costumes and the tone of TV. The tone of TV is different than the tone of film. That's all, that's all it is. So there you go. Amir Palacio said it was me who made the, the promo art, right? Uh, Brandon White said it was Hydra. Hail Hydra then. Uh, Alex Bernard said, I'm taking this image and the new Avengers poster and using them as my backgrounds. Do it. Put them together. You got four of the Justice League members and then zero in on the four main Avengers, man. And you just, oh, boing, 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 nerd boner. Jesus. It's, I, I actually wanted to do that. Put them, line them up together. It's just like amazing we we live in such a great time, especially if you're a comic book nerd and you love these superheroes. We are living in such a great time where these comic book movies, I can't even talk. These pom comic comic book movies, these comic book movies are taken seriously. They're taken so seriously because they've been around since the '70s. These comic book attempts, and you know, just the quality just keeps getting better and better. It's so great. Um, Robert, I was. Isam said it's fake. It says my name is General Zod. <laughs> yeah, they use audio from Man of Steel, of course, just to make it seem like it's more legit. Uh, Gonzo Croman said it was you. Maybe it was me that made that image. Was it? 
I'm not that talented in Photoshop, sorry. And then, of course, Pablo Salomon said, FYI, it was me. Good job, guys. You guys are awesome. So there you go. And then the uh, third video I uploaded was, of course, Mr. Uh, ben Hardy. He was cast in X-Men Apocalypse in a mystery role. Nobody knows what he is, but it's kind of obvious with the blonde hair. He's a pretty ripped dude. He's playing Angel. You know, we already got a taste of Angel in uh, uh, the third X-Men movie. Remember when uh, Ben Foster? Hey, two Bens. Ben Foster played him. Had a very small role. It was like, hey, I'm in the beginning. And then I'm in the end. <laughs> I'm in the beginning where my father is rejecting me and he wants me to take the serum to get rid of this mutation. And then I save his ass at the end. God damn you, Brett Ratner. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, God. What a waste. <laughs> that was just such a waste right there. But yeah, anyways, uh, who knows when we're going to get that. I mean, I, of course, the big video that's hitting is the Batman vs. Superman one. That's why I did it. I just really love that that image of the four Justice League members. I can't wait till they unveil Flash, Green Lantern. That probably won't be for a while because I don't think they're going to be in the movie. You know, and a lot of people are still hating. On, I can't wait to see Ezra Miller in that costume because it's it's weird. I mean, he's he's a talented actor. I've seen him in a couple things. Um, my first thing I saw him was Californication. I'm going back to Californication. He was just a kid, though. It's just crazy. And I've been watching the episodes again. He was in the first season. I'm going, holy shit. There he is. There's the Flash. So crazy. So crazy. But I think he'll do a, he'll, he'll do a good job, you know. Um, people want to gripe and complain. They just, they just want carbon copies. They want to see the actual person come off the page and be right there. And it's like, you can't have that. Was this right off the page? Was this Joker right off the page? No. And it blew our dicks off, man. It, it really did. It blew our minds. And I can't wait to see what Leto does, too. There was also some talk, too, where Margot Robbie was talking about, yeah, I'm, I'd be down to do uh, Harley Quinn for three movies. It's like, well, I'm sure you signed a multi-picture deal. I still hate it when I see movie blogs post like, oh, yeah, you know, Jesse Eisenberg wants to return his Lex Luthor. It's like, I'm sure he signed a multi-picture deal. Of course he's going to return. Oh, look at a little commercial for Argo starring Batman. Oh, and also directed by Batman. Ben Affleck, man. He just doesn't get the respect he deserves. Also, the Oscars were this weekend. But see, I'm going back to the 2012 Oscars, or was it 13? 13, maybe. Um, how does Argo win Best Picture, but Ben Affleck doesn't even get nominated for Best Director? I swear, he's got such a stigma on his name, I fucking hate it. Because the la every movie that he's done in like the last five, six, seven, I don't know how many years have been fantastic. And Argo is fantastic. That's why I'm totally confident he's going to be an awesome Batman. Probably the best Batman, the best looking Batman. I can already tell you that. I mean, it's closest to that. That's for damn sure. It's all about the chin, man. All about the chin. So, um, yeah, I hate that. Oscars were this weekend. Love that Birdman. Got the best pick. Nah, I, I thought I thought it was going to be Boyhood, but luckily the people at the Academy were like, okay, is Boyhood actually like the best picture or is everybody just going, dwelling on the fact that it was shot over 12 years? I think that's what was giving it such a buzz. I'm not saying it was a bad movie. I'm just saying that's why people were buzzing about it so much is because the way it was shot. But then you got Birdman, which was very character driven. It was such an experience. The fact that they shot it where it looks like it was just one take and just everybody was on their A game. It just worked, and I feel sorry for Michael Keaton. I was rooting for him to win Best Actor, and it was sad, too, because I saw, like, a post which showed a Vine. He, I think he was very confident he was going to win. He had his speech out, and you actually see him get up and put a piece of paper back into his jacket pocket, and you just want to cry because, you know, it stung. He was really just confident that he was going to win. But, I mean, you know, I can't say that uh, Eddie... Ray, what's his name? Eddie something? Ray, Rayman? <laughs> I don't know. He won. Um, even though, if you guys saw Jupiter Ascending, ho hopefully he doesn't get that curse. After you win an Academy Award, you just go downhill. He go, he, he's already starting to go downhill even before he won the Academy Award because, yeah, his character in Ju Jupiter Ascending was just pure shit. 
It's terrible. Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up the, the after video show right now. I feel like I've been talking forever. Um, hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the other channel for the main content. I appreciate it, guys. Leave a comment down below in the balls area. And uh, visit FilmJunkie.com for your latest moon news. We're all right, guys. I am Dave, the Film Junkie, and this has been the Film Junkie After Video Show. Cheers, guys. Talk to you later.